former Solicitor General of the United States of America, now head of the appellate practice at Wilmer Hale and our co-counsel on behalf of Brendan Dassey. Over decades of experience at the state and federal level, Mr. Waxman has helped shape some of the nation's most important laws regarding juvenile sentencing, interrogation, and appellate practice. Seth. Thank you and good morning, everyone. Um, it was now a few years ago that I was sitting in my office, I believe on a Sunday afternoon, getting ready for an oral argument in the Supreme Court the coming, in the coming days. And I got a telephone call from a friend of mine who was a law professor at Cornell asking whether I would have time and would be interested to assist Brendan Dassey in seeking Supreme Court review of his case. And I said, uh, who is Brendan Dassey? And he said, Brendan Dassey, where have you been? Brendan Dassey is the juvenile in making a murderer. You know, people who know me know that I have not yet quite caught up with the 1990s, much less the 2010s. And so I said, like, what is making a murderer? And my friend explained to me that there was a show that uh, documented this alleged crime. Um, and I said, look, just if you can shoot me relevant materials, I will take a look and let you know. And I then spent three hours of otherwise very precious preparation time reviewing the opinions in this case and the transcript of the so-called confession, the interrogation session, the last one that occurred in this case. And my blood ran cold. And I called up my friend and said, I will do anything I can to help this boy. I've been a practicing lawyer since 1977. As part of my pro bono practice, in addition to representing juveniles in criminal justice proceedings, I represent death row inmates. Other than the almost seven years that I was in the Justice Department, I've always had at least one client facing execution for a capital crime. I have never had a case that has troubled me more than this case, that has kept me awake at night, that makes me anxious and sad. Um, and that's because I know that Brendan Dassey is innocent. And I know that no judge, not the state trial judge, not the state court of appeals judges, not the federal district judge, not any of the judges on, on the Seventh Circuit, including the four judges sitting on Bonk who denied his petition, and not a single justice on the Supreme Court of the United States thinks otherwise. I don't, no judge has ever written that they thought that, Mike, that Brendan Dassey was not innocent. That isn't the question that they presented, but it is the question that we are presenting to the governor and the board in this case. And we ask for very belated, but so desperately needed justice for this man. Thank you.